Jacks. I'm the director of the American Language Institute at New York University. I'm going to be your instructor for learning English. Please remember, you will want to use your dictionary as we work through these lessons. All right? Let's get started. In this lesson, we study the verb be. We will make sentences with the verb be. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I am a teacher. I am happy. He is a student. He is sad. She is a student. She is busy working or studying. It is a clock. It is round. They are students. They are busy. They are books. They are read. Repeat after me. First, I will speak. Then, you will speak. Listen and repeat. I am a teacher. I am happy. Good. He is a student. He is sad. She is a student. She is busy. Good. It is a clock. It is round. They are students. They are busy. They are books. They are read. That's great. Notice, these are the forms of the verb be. Am, is, and are. Now, listen carefully. Listen to this passage about New York City. Passage means story. New York City is popular. New York City is a large city in the United States of America. It is an important city for business and finance. Wall Street is in New York City. It is the center for American finance. The New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange are there. They are popular tourist places. Listen again. I will read the passage again. Listen for the forms of the be verb, is and are. New York City is a large city in the United States of America. It is an important city for business and finance. Wall Street is in New York City. It is the center for American finance. The New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange are 
there. They are popular tourist places. Take a look at this. New York City, a large city in the United States of America. The correct form of the verb be is. That's right. It's easy. Now you will prepare to write the exercise in the study guide. So pause the program, please look at the study guide, and do the exercise. Return to the program to check your answer afterwards. Let's review that exercise. New York City is a large city in the United States of America. It is an important city for business and finance. Wall Street is in New York City. It is the center for American finance the New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange are there. They are popular tourist places. That's great. I'll see you next time. Hello again. The focus of this lesson is pronouns and the three forms of the be verb, our favorite verb. First, these are the subject pronouns. I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Okay? And these are the three forms of the verb be. We know them from the first lesson. Am, is, are. Now, let's take a look at the pronouns with the verb forms. I am a teacher. I am here. We are students. We are here. Willie is a student. He is here. You are students. You are here. Helen is a student. She is here. They are students. They are here. It is a book. It is here. You are a student. You are here. OK, now let's practice speaking. And I mean speaking. It's necessary that you speak aloud. We will use pronouns and the be verb. But remember, you must speak aloud. Good. I will say two words. For example, I and teacher. You will say the complete sentence with the be verb. I am a teacher. Okay? I will say he, student. You say, he is a student. Great. Now let's try these. Say the sentences aloud. I, teacher. Yes, I am a teacher. He, student. He is a student. Great. 
she student she is a student it clock it is a clock that's great they teachers they are teachers we friends we are friends great and you friends you are friends wonderful now look at the graphic once more notice that we use singular or plural more than one noun forms singular one student plural two students three four five students singular one book plural two three four books singular one banana plural three bananas two bananas all right it's time now to practice writing English sentences you will need your study guide you will need to write sentences using pronouns take a look at this the teacher is busy write with a pronoun he is busy okay look at this Helen is happy write it with a pronoun she is happy easy right okay now pause your program look at the study guide do the exercise and then return here when you finish all right let's review the teacher is busy he is busy or she is busy good Helen is happy she is happy Willie is sad he is sad the student is busy he is busy or she is busy the clock is round it is round the book is read it is red the books are red they are red the professors are busy they are busy that's excellent I'll see you in the next lesson hello in this lesson we will study contractions with pronouns and the verb be when we speak we often use contractions contractions make two words into one let's look at some contractions I am becomes I'm you are becomes your he is becomes he's she is she's it is its we are becomes we're they are becomes there short sweet here are some examples I am a teacher I'm a teacher it is a pencil it's a pencil you are a student you're a student we are friends we're friends he is a dentist he's a dentist they are tourists they're tourists and she is a doctor she's a doctor okay very common 
in speech. Let's try to say sentences with contractions now. I'll say the sentence, he is a student, and you make the contraction. He's a student, exactly like that. Okay, you make the contraction. I say, they are doctors. You say, they're doctors. Perfect. Okay? Let's try these. He is a student. He's a student. That's perfect. They are doctors. They're doctors. Good. He is a student. He's a student. I am a professor. I'm a professor. Great. They are doctors. They're doctors. We are friends. We're friends. Very good. They are teachers. They're teachers. It is a pencil. It's a pencil. He is a tourist. He's a tourist. That's very good. Great. Now, in this exercise, you must write the contraction. For example, you will see I am a doctor, and you will write the contracted form I'm a doctor. Very easy stuff. Now, pause your program, look at the study guide, and please do the exercise. Come back here when you finish. Let's review that exercise. I am a doctor. You wrote, I'm a doctor. You are a teacher. You're a teacher. He is a tourist. He's a tourist. She is a dentist. You wrote, she's a dentist. It is a clock. It's a clock. We are professors. We're professors. You are students. You're students. They are tourists. And you wrote, they're tourists. That's very good. I'll see you next time. Hi. In this lesson, we will study negative sentences with the verb be. Negative sentences use the word not. Not means no, negative. Look at this. Affirmative, I am in New York City. Negative, I am not in Paris. Okay, we can compare some affirmative statements with negative statements. Look at these. She is a woman. She is not a man. She is not a girl. She is not a boy. And he is a man. He is not a woman. He is not a boy. He is not a girl. And here are some more affirmative and negative statements. I am a teacher. I am not a president. You are a student. You are not a professor. It is a watch. It is not a pen. You are violinists. You are not conductors. They are secretaries. They are not biologists. Now let's practice speaking. Now remember, when I say speaking, I mean speak aloud. 
It's very important practice. I will say, for example, they are secretaries, and you say negative. They are not violinists. They are not biologists. Okay? Let's try this. They are secretaries. Good. They are not dentists. They are not presidents. That's perfect. Here's another one. He is a dentist. He's not a teacher. He's not a student. Okay? We are students. We are not teachers. Perfect. She is a professor. She is not a violinist. Okay? You are conductors. You are not doctors. She is a tourist. She is not a student. We are tourists. We are not dentists. That's great. Okay, now, we're going to do an exercise, and in the exercise, you will actually write complete negative statements. It's quite easy. You will see, I am a professor, and you will write negative I am not a president. I am not a dentist. Okay? Now, pause the program, look at the study guide, and complete the exercise. Remember when you're finished to come right back here. Now let's review the exercise. I am a professor. I am not a president. I am not a doctor. That's great. Lots of possibilities. You are a doctor becomes you are not a secretary. Perfect. We are friends. We are not enemies. They are biologists. They are not conductors. Very good. I'll see you in the next lesson. Hello. In this lesson we will combine contractions and negative statements with the verb be. Look at these negative contractions. I am not becomes I'm not. You are not becomes you're not, and it becomes you aren't. Got it? You're not, or you aren't. He is not, becomes he's not, or he isn't. She is not, she's not, she isn't. It is not. It's not, it isn't, we are not, we're not, we aren't, and they are not, they're not, they aren't. Two forms for most of those. Here are some more examples. I am an instructor, I'm not a pupil, I'm not a student. You are a pupil, you're not an instructor, or you aren't an instructor. You're not an instructor, you aren't an instructor. He is a dentist. He's not an instructor, or he isn't an instructor. She is a president. She's not a violinist. She isn't a violinist. It is a pencil. It's not a marker. 
It's not a pen. It isn't a marker. And we are friends. We're not biologists. We aren't biologists. That's good. Let's do a little practice now. There are two negatives you have to consider when you're making contractions. I say two words. She, conductor. And you make the negative sentence, she is not a conductor. Or, contracted, she's not a conductor, she isn't a conductor. Got it? Let me try it one more time. You make a negative sentence, so I say she, conductor, she is not a conductor. She's not a conductor, she isn't a conductor. Okay? Let's try some. She, conductor. She is not a conductor. Contracted forms? She's not a conductor. She isn't a conductor. That's great. You, teacher. You are not a teacher. Or, you're not a teacher. Or, you aren't a teacher. Perfect. We enemies. We are not enemies. We're not enemies. We aren't enemies. It pen. It is not a pen. Contracted forms it's not a pen. It isn't a pen, yeah. He, pupil. He is not a pupil. He's not a pupil. He isn't a pupil. They, students. They are not students. They're not students. They aren't students. And I, violinist, I am not a violinist. I'm not a violinist. That's great. Now let's prepare to do an exercise in the study guide. In this exercise, we combine contractions and negative statements. And you'll complete the negative statements with contractions. For example, I am a professor becomes I'm not a president, or I'm not a doctor, or I'm not a student. Not so tough, right? OK. Now pause the program, look at the study guide, and please complete the exercise. Remember. When you finish, come right back here. All right, let's review. I am a professor. You wrote, I'm not a president. I'm not a doctor. Good. You are a doctor. You wrote, you're not a secretary, or you aren't a secretary. Good, also. We are friends. Possibilities. We're not enemies. We aren't enemies. We aren't students, etc., etc. They are biologists. They're not conductors. And another form, they aren't conductors. That's very nice. OK, I'll see you in the next lesson. Hello again. This lesson focuses on the word in. We use in with be verbs to show location. 
or to show place. Look at this illustration. B with the preposition in equals location or place. Los Angeles is in America. The books are in the room. The students are in the classroom. Okay, here are some more sentences showing place. Los Angeles is in the United States. Tokyo is in Japan. Cairo is in Egypt. Paris is in France. London is in England. The books are in the room. The students are in the classroom. Wall Street is in New York City. Let's practice some sentences now for location. You must make the sentences. Listen carefully. I say, in America. You make the sentence with in. Los Angeles is in America. Okay? Or New York City is in America. In Egypt. Cairo. Yeah, Cairo is in Egypt. Or Alexandria is in Egypt. Alexandria is in Egypt. Got it? Okay, let's try these. In America. Easy. New York City is in America. Los Angeles. In Japan. Yes. Tokyo is in Japan. Osaka is in Japan. Good. In France. Paris is in France. In England. London is in England. That's good. Thank you. In the room. The student is in the room. The book is in the room. The computer is in the room. That's it. Exactly. In the classroom. The students are in the classroom. The teacher is in the classroom. Good. All right, now for this exercise, you will write sentences using in expressions to show place. For example, in America, you can write, Los Angeles is in America. Or you can write, New York City is in America. That's quite easy, right? Okay, now pause the program, look at the study guide, and complete the exercise. Return here and we'll review it. So let's review that in exercise. In America, you wrote Los Angeles is in America or New York City is in America. In France, Paris is in France. In Egypt, Cairo is in Egypt. In England, London is in England. In Japan, Tokyo is in Japan. In the room, the book is in the room. Lots of possibilities. Computer, pen, the pencil is in the room. Good. In the classroom, the students are in the classroom. The teacher is in the classroom. Good. In New York City, Wall Street is in New York City. The New York Stock Exchange is in New York City. That's great. Very good. I'll see you next time. Hello again. In this lesson, we will study adjectives. Words which describe colors, for example, red or blue, qualities, big, tall. Adjectives with the verb be. Now remember, adjectives follow the verb and describe the subject. 
Look at these sentences. Willie is tall. The book is red. Remember, in English, there are no plurals for adjectives. Willie is tall. The children are tall. No change. Okay? Let's take a look at these sentences. The man is tall. A fire truck is red. The boy is short. An apple is red. She's happy. An egg is white. He's unhappy. Not happy. We are busy. The pen is expensive. They are lazy. The pencil is inexpensive, not expensive. The boy and the girl are fine. Okay. Now let's try to use some of these adjectives in our own sentences. I'll say the noun. For example, the apple. And you say the sentence with the adjective. For example, the apple is red, is green. Not so hard. Okay, here we go. The apple. The apple is red. The apple is large. A fire truck. A fire truck is red. Yes. A city. A city is big. A city is large. A city is broad. That's good. A village. A village is small. A village is little. That's good. They. They are happy. They are busy. They are lazy. Good. The student. The student is happy. She. She is busy. The clock. The clock is round. The clock is white. Good. New York City. New York City is large. That's good. An ambulance. An ambulance is white. Great. That's just perfect. Now let's try an exercise. In the exercise, you will write sentences using the adjectives we've already looked at. For example, you'll see expensive, the adjective, and you write the watch is expensive. The computer is expensive. It should be very interesting. So now, pause the program, look at the study guide, and complete the exercise. When you're finished, come right back here. All right, let's review. Expensive and watch, you wrote, the watch is expensive, the automobile is expensive, the professor is busy, the students are busy, the clock is round, she is unhappy, the book is red, the apple is red. The egg is white. The ambulance is white. The pencil is inexpensive. The student is tall. Great. See you next time. Welcome back. In this lesson, we will study the articles a uh, and an with singular nouns. 
First, look at these articles. We use a and an only for singular nouns. The articles a and an mean singular, one only. An is used before vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Let's take a look. Here are the singular. A fire truck is red. An ambulance is white. An before vowels. An ambulance is white. A banana is yellow. An apple is red. An before vowels. A is a vowel. Okay. And the plurals. Fire trucks are red. No articles. Ambulances are white. Bananas are yellow. Apples are red. Okay. Now, let's take a look at some of the use of a, the article. A pencil is small. A small pencil is not a pen. A pen is small. A pen is not a president. A, single. Now, pencils and pens are small. No articles. Pencils aren't pens. No articles, plural. Cars are expensive. Large cars are expensive. Plurals. Okay? Let's test your understanding. Make these two words, a noun and an adjective, into a sentence. Use a or an or nothing for plurals. Tricky, but you can do it. Pen, small, A pen is small, exactly, a pen, singular. Students, busy. Students are busy, nothing for plurals, right? Good. Car, expensive. A car is expensive. Tourist, happy. A tourist is happy. That's perfect. One more. Cars, expensive. Cars are expensive. Nothing. Very good. All right, now let's try an exercise. In this exercise, you will write some sentences with nouns and adjectives, but you must decide to use a or an or no article. Okay, so you will see apple red. And you will write an apple is red. An apple is red. Got it? Okay. Now, put your program on pause, look at the study guide, and complete the exercise. When you finish, return here. Okay, let's review. Apple red, you wrote, an apple is red. Cars, large, you wrote, cars are large. A tourist is happy. An ambulance is white. Good job. Hello. In this lesson, we'll look at from with city or country to show origin. Take a look at this graphic. From for city, country of origin. We use from 
When we speak about origin, place of origin, home country, motherland. I'm from New York. She's from Canada. Okay, now let's look at these sentences. I'm from the United States of America. I'm from America. The doctor's from Thailand. He's from Colombia. She's from Vietnam. They're from Korea, or they are from Korea. Remember, contractions are usually just fine for speech. When we write for school or business, we usually use the long form. Okay, let's practice speaking. We'll use from in be verb sentences. I'll say the pronoun I, you, he, etc. And you say the complete sentence with the be verb and from. So, for example, I, and you complete, I am from Thailand. I am from Korea. Or, I'm from Thailand. I'm from Korea. Yeah? Let's try these. I. I am from Thailand. Good. He. He's from France. Okay. I. I'm from New York City. Good. They. They are from China. Great. We. We are from Thailand. The student. The student is from Bangladesh. Okay. Maria. Maria is from El Salvador. You. You are from Shanghai. The professor? The professor is from Brazil. She. She is from Mexico City. Willie. Willie is from New York. Maria and Helen. Maria and Helen are from Sweden, or they are from Sweden. That's great. All right, now let's try an exercise. In the exercise, you will complete sentences and use from with a be verb. You can use your from expressions. So you will see I, Korea, and you will write, I am from Korea, or I am from Thailand. Quite simple, okay? Now, Pause the program, look at the study guide, and do the exercise. Come back here when you are completely finished. All right, let's review the exercise. I, I'm from the United States, or I'm from Thailand. Professor Hill, Professor Hill is from China. Maria and Helen, Maria and Helen are from Sweden, Thailand, Korea. The violinist, the violinist is from Los Angeles. We, we are from Colombia. You, you are from Vietnam. They, they are from Korea. The instructors, the instructors are from New York City. That's good. I'll see you next time. Hello again. In this lesson, we'll study questions and answers with the verb be. Listen carefully to this passage 
Remember, a passage is a story. Listen carefully. San Francisco. Maria is from San Francisco. San Francisco is in the state of California. It is a beautiful city. It is a peninsula. The Pacific Ocean is on the west and the San Francisco Bay is on the east. San Francisco is near another large city. It is Oakland. Both San Francisco and Oakland are cities on San Francisco Bay. Now, before we begin our practice, I want to read this passage one more time and listen carefully. San Francisco. Maria is from San Francisco. San Francisco is in the state of California. It is a beautiful city. It is a peninsula. The Pacific Ocean is on the west and the San Francisco Bay is on the east. San Francisco is near another large city. It is Oakland. Both San Francisco and Oakland are cities on San Francisco Bay. Okay, we have the information. Now, Take a look at this graphic and we'll learn how to make B verb questions. For B verbs, we make the question form like this. Here's a statement. Maria is from San Francisco. And the question, is Maria from San Francisco? It's quite easy. huh? Let's look at a few more Question constructions. David is from New York. Question, is David from New York? Maria is from San Francisco. Is Maria from San Francisco? You are from Paris. Are you from Paris? She is from Tehran. Question, is she from Tehran? Peter is from Dakar, Senegal. Is Peter from Dakar? Is he from Dakar? They are from Beijing. Are they from Beijing? Very simple question construction. Okay, now we will practice making and saying. Remember, it's very important to repeat and speak aloud. We'll make and we'll say question forms. For example, you will hear from New York and you make a question, is David from New York? Is he from New York? Is she from New York? Perfect. Let's try a few. From New York. Good. Is David from New York? Is she from New York? From San Francisco. Right from the passage. Is Maria from San Francisco? Okay. From Paris? Is Professor Hill from Paris? Are they from Paris? From Tehran. Is he from Tehran? From Dakar. Are the students from Dakar? From Beijing? Are they from Beijing? That's just perfect. And now let's try an exercise. This exercise requires you to write complete questions. Use the statements, but write them as questions. For example, David is from New York. Question, is David from New York? 
Quite easy. Good. Now, put the program on pause, look at the study guide, and complete the exercise. Return here, and we'll review it. Back again, let's review the exercise. David is from New York. You wrote, is David from New York? Maria is from San Francisco. You wrote, is Maria from San Francisco? You are from Paris. Are you from Paris? She's from Tehran. Is she from Tehran? Maria's from Dakar. Is Maria from Dakar? They're from Beijing. Are they from Beijing? That's great. 